We're going to be talking about shoulder impingement. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you all the good stuff and I'm going to do it for free. I mean real long-term chronic shoulder impingement. That, that brutal pain you get right in the top of the shoulder where if you raise your arm, it just barks at you all. It can't bring your hand overhead because it hurts all the time. So massive pinching pain in the shoulder, no matter what, wherever you try and bring your arm, it's going to cause pain. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it permanently. Right. So bottom line with a shoulder impingement, and I mean like a true shoulder impingement, that, that massive pain, like I was just talking about, the bottom line is there's, there's a lot of shoulder drills you can do. I've posted probably about 500 to a thousand of them. There's lots of guys out there that are doing really, really well that are posting things. But the problem is it keeps coming back. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of it permanently. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that pain by going through a whole bunch of reasons why this happens first, and then how to combat that and get out of that pain. You don't wake up with shoulder pain. You, you can actually bring your arms over your head. There's a lot of things that you need to be able to do with your shoulders that you can't do when you have an impingement. So the first thing you have to remember is about 95% of shoulder impingements are caused by an issue with the tendon coming off of the supraspinatus that wraps around the top of the humerus right here. So what it does is that the supraspinatus comes right here. It's on supraspinatus, so there's something on the spine of the scapula right here. The supraspinatus runs down here, and then it runs underneath through this, this bony groove and then attaches right on the outside of the, uh, of, the, of the humerus. And what it does is that, for the most part, it does the first 15 degrees of abduction. So abduction is away, adduction is towards the body. So it does about the first 15 degrees of abduction, and then the rest of the mechanics take over on the way out. Now, if you have an issue with this, you're going to have a shoulder impingement issue 99% of the time. So we want to take the pressure off that tendon that comes underneath uh, that bony prominence here, but we want to take it off from the pressure on the bottom and the pressure on the top. The, the tendon gets compressed this way. It com gets compressed by the humerus itself pushing up into the tendon, and it gets compressed by the, uh, the chromium and the clavicle on the top, on the top of the tendon. So we want to get rid of all that. We want to get rid of that sandwich that's happening between two bones. The tendon's going to fray and get demolished. doesn't matter what you do. So we want to, outside of just create a space, we want to fix the mechanics because the shoulders tend to do this. So if the shoulders are, are sitting in like this and in your, some that works on a keyboard or or you play a lot of video games or you're like my son and you bust out a lot of Fortnite, but he's badass because he does all kinds of other stuff too to stay fit. So, but if your shoulders roll in, the mechanics instantly put you in a compromised position where you're going to have an impingement. And watch, here's the test. So what I want you to do is tip your pay, right? We're going to turn them out. So I'm about like this. So I'm going to turn them out and I'm going to my shoulder blade, almost like I'm trying to squeeze them together. So I'm, I'm Extending my chest. So I'm going to roll, I'm going to turn my hand down. I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together. I'm going to pull my hand back into a neutral position. I'm going to push my tongue into the ring of my mouth. That's really. And then I'm going to bring my arms all the way up. Okay. This is how it should be. You do this. Or you raise your shoulders, you go, oh my God, I can't do that. It's because your shoulders are rotated internally and they're banging into bone and tissue. And you better pin, no matter what anyone says. Here's the, the other side in the test. Put yourself in an impingement. Take your hands from this position, roll them in, and bring your shoulders in. Now try and raise your arms over your head. If we get to about here, and that hurts. And that's about all you've got. And for all you guys who go, no, I can do it. You're rolling your arms, you're rolling your humor. So just stop arguing. The person you want to do is want to create some space. We want to allow the tissue to work and relax the way it's designed. And the first thing we need to do is actually put you into an overhead position. The easiest way to do that, when you see me do this before, is grab onto a pole and put yourself into an overhead position. I'm going to show you a better way of doing it. We're going to grab a band, okay? We're going to take the band. We're just going to wrap it around. I'm wanting to actively push him down. So you go a little tight. Take the band. Like so. And I'm going to actually push you out like so that I'm engaging the lap, the terrace, part of the thet, the serenus, the anterior, self-scout, even the delt, all kinds of stuff. Even the tricep and the bicep are, are engaging. You can see by this massive horseshoe I have right here. 
So we're going to push down actively, elbow locked out, thumb up. You can see I've got my thumb up in this position. And now I'm just going to go into a hinge. And I'm going to put my shoulder and my head all the way through while waking down. You've got to push down. If not, this is the work that's going to hurt. And then we're going to go all the way back up to neutral. And then I'm going to do it again. And then we're going to come all the way back up to neutral. It should only take about two to three seconds to go through the entire repetition while pushing down. That's number one. You got to do that. Now, number two is we're going to work on extra rotation to get those shoulders to open up. But I've got two really chiller ways. First one, put it, man. Yep, you need to buy some beds. So take your head, you can put it through the man. So I'm going to wrap it up just a little bit, just like this. This is a really, really light bend. You don't need anything really, really crazy. You just need a little bit of resistance. So external rotation is this. So we're going to go from this position. So the band is pretty loose. We're going to go and we're going to load it. 90 degrees. Then we're going to amp up the shoulder. Okay. So there's more to this, but I just want you to understand this. We're going to externally rotate. Minor load. Add about the shoulder. Externally rotate again. Externally rotate. We're going to push out into the beat. And then back, down, in. And again, deal with a lot of step. Rusty, you want to do this stuff. Once shoulders act up, they're almost impossible to clear up. So I want you guys to never have shoulder issues. So again, externally rotate. Add about. Externally rotate. Press up into the beat. Come back down. And then you're just going to do the reverse in that. Since a 10 to 15 reps. You're going to do both sides, even if it's just one side or the other side. Sorry. Do ball. Yeah, do ball. You start doing one side, the other side is going to get all jacked up. That's number two. Okay. Number three is what I call a sweep. So we're going to go from this position. Same thing. Really light band. And we're just going to bring our head from here up. But you're going to pull your scapula, your shoulder leg down into your back pocket. So in this case, it's going to be on my left scapula, way down into my back pocket. So we're going to come up and then back down, smack it in my wife's vest. Good. So again, I'm across, right? Put your hand on your hip, put it up here, jump around, it doesn't matter. So we're going to take our hand. So now I'm going to lock out, thumb is up. Always thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up there and then back down again. So this is your movement. Because I'm working on pulling the scapula down and back and squeezing the shoulder blades together. So you get that shoulder back into what's called a centralized position. Because if you lose joint centralization, what happens is the head of the humerus slides forward and starts grinding away on everything and pinching that tendon, jacks everything up. So what are we, number three? All right, so number four, I don't even get see. My legs are about a foot away from the wall. I'm gonna be up and tall. I want my butt my shoulder blades and my hand like this. I don't want it like this. And then I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to put them up against the wall. I'm doing this from a different angle because you guys look at it from the front and, and I don't think you understand what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep my entire arm against the wall the entire time. I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to come back down as far as I can, try to bring my elbows down into my side and then up and then back down, up, and then back down. You're going to be three sets of 12 to 15. This is going to make your shoulders on fire. I promise you it's going to change your game. So that's number four. Number five, we're going to take this. This is a very light band. I want you guys to take a look at this band. Here's the band. Here's the size of my finger. See what I mean? Really light. We're going to take the band. I'm going to be slightly wider than shoulder. This is the move that we're going to do. Okay? This is the move that we're doing. What I'm going to do is your pass. You know, fast out, and then you're going to come all the way back in. Fast out, and then all the way back in. Fast out, parallel to the floor. I don't want you doing that. Bend in three way that I do for training. This is just to work on tendons. Yeah. Okay. That's number five. Do these say plumps you. They seem complicated. They seem arduous. They seem like a lot of work. Shoulder surgery is not. It's a pain in the butt if you can avoid it. If it's not avoid it. But other than that, these five things, I promise you, three times a week for the rest of your life, you will get rid of your shoulder impingement and it'll never come back again. I promise you. That's how this works. It was not draft mattress. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe, please subscribe, tell everybody about this stuff because I want everyone to never need to go to a doctor. Like it. If you don't like it, leave a comment. Tell me why you didn't like it. So I can get better for you guys.
All right, what's the trend? Last words. I love you guys. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of it. Leave comments, ask questions. I'll check you guys out later. Thanks, thanks, bud. All right, friend.